Hey guys, just sitting here in the garage on my KX040 Kubota Mini Excavator. I got a request to show how to work some of the uh, auxiliary hydraulics here. So I'll go ahead and turn the uh, camera around and show the screen here. Now before I do that, this machine has dual auxiliary hydraulics. So if you look on the uh, thumb controls here, I've got it both on the left hand as well as the right hand. So this one controls the smaller line that goes up to the thumb and the left one controls the larger line that goes up and currently I have a quick connect on it right down there. So this one, the left side, will control the other attachments like a tilt bucket or a brush cutter or if I was using a hammer or anything else like that, I would use this left side and the right side is always gonna be my thumb. So let's get started here. Okay, so here's the control screen. All I've done is turn the key on. I have not started the machine. So this button right here takes you to your menu. And if you use these arrows, those correspond to these buttons for down and up. So we're gonna go down to auxiliary flow control settings. And then enter is this button over here that looks like a arrow pointing to the left. So we press enter. Now, this right here is for aux one. So that's your standard. When you press this, it, it automatically goes to aux one. So this is kind of the standard one that I'll use all the time. And what it has is it has full right thumb and full left thumb, meaning it sends full flow when I use the right thumb for, uh, on the controller for the thumb and the left controller for the other secondary auxiliary, it's going to do full flow on both. So then if you press the down arrow, you could change that so that number one is the thumb or number one is the brush cutter or number one is a rotating grapple or number one is a regular grapple or an auger, or a clamshell, or a hammer, or a tilt bucket, or nothing. So, I'm gonna go back up to where my first one, and you can see that little one right there, is just what I call as like the standard auxiliary. So once you've got that selected, then you press the button that looks like it's over. So when you press that once, it came over here to my left thumb. And now I could turn the flow volume down or up for my left thumb when I push it towards the outside. When I press this button again, it goes to the next bar over. Now that's my left thumb if I push the uh, uh, switch over to the right, which will send flow to the right side of the boom. And again, you could lower that flow or raise that flow. Then, when you press over again, it goes over to my right thumb switch. And again, I can lower or raise the flow. Now, if you only have one auxiliary on your machine, like you only have the right thumb and you don't have dual auxiliaries, then it'll only go to here. It, it won't go over to this L. You'll only have an R column here. So, once you set your flow there and there, You can then press this enter button. And now you see it went to number two. So this is my, if when you go to turn your auxiliary hydraulics on, you have to get the machine and start it and you'll press this. You press it once, it was on the previous setting. You press it twice, it goes to page two, which I've got two set for my tilt bucket. So for my tilt bucket, when I go over, my left thumb is gonna control the tilt bucket. And you can see I've, decrease the flow volume for my tilt bucket. So that way, when I move my left thumb controller, it's not really quick with the thumb, the, uh, I'm sorry, with the uh, tilt bucket. It's a little bit more of a gradual move. So again, you can see those, I have those set a little bit less than half. And you go, I also have it a little bit less than half for the right side. And then over here, this will still be my thumb because my right uh, thumb joystick 
will always be my thumb. So I'm gonna leave that full because I wanna keep that going fast on both ways. Okay, so then when you press enter again, it goes to page three. So three, I've got set up as my brush cutter. So what I did here is on my left thumb, I've got full flow. When I run my brush cutter, it's rated for up to 23 gallons per minute. And I believe this machine puts out around 17 gallons per minute. So I've got full flow going for my brush cutter. But also with this, I can still use my thumb with my brush cutter. And my brush cutter is a rut tree slayer. And the way it's built is it has um, like a serrated edge that faces towards the operator that you can use the thumb with. So you can still pluck out roots and grab logs and stuff with this brush cutter. So I can still use my thumb with it. Now, the reason I've slowed the thumb down here is because I really don't want to damage that brush cutter. So I slowed my thumb speed down a little bit when I'm using the brush cutter so that when I'm grabbing a log or you know picking something up, it's going to be kind of delicate and it's not going to move too fast and I'm not going to mess anything up. So both directions, my thumb is going slower when I have my brush cutter. Then you press this again and four I've got is blank. So that means I don't have a fourth sheet. So that way it's only going to bring up three sheets or three different modes of auxiliary. And if I wanted to, I could change this. And I could make this a auger, if I had an auger. Then I could go over by pressing this button to my left, and I could make the flow for my auger, you know, medium, let's say. And when I have an auger, I can't use my thumb at all. So I'm gonna have that all the way down so there's no flow for the thumb. And there we go, we just created a fourth page. Now page five is empty. Let's say that's all I'm gonna have. I'm gonna only have four pages now. All right, there we go. So we're back onto one. You can have a max of up to five pages. See there's five, back to one. Now to exit, you just press your menu button and you're out of it. So now, let's say you just started the machine and it's running and you wanna use your auxiliary hydraulics. Well, as we all know, you gotta press this button every time you wanna use your auxiliary hydraulics. So you press it once, and boom, you're on setting one. And if you wanna see what those settings are, you can click this I button, and it shows you that's doing full on both. And that's just momentary. Now, let's say, oh, nope, I wanna use my tilt bucket. Then you press this again, and now we're on tilt bucket. And you can click the information. Look, we got the low tilt and still the full thumb. No, we're gonna put the brush cutter on. Well, information, we got full and a little bit of thumb. All right, we're gonna to go to the auger we just made. Information, we got half speed on the auger and nothing on the thumb. And you press this again and it auxiliaries go off, so none of your thumb switches will work. Press it again, you're at your normal setting here. So, I actually don't have the um, auger. So I wanna get rid of the auger. So let's go back to our settings here. So I'm going to menu, I'm going down to auxiliary flow control. I press enter and I'm gonna go through these until I get to my fourth, oops. I'm gonna press the uh, enter button until I get to my fourth screen. So there we go. That's the one, I don't, I don't have an auger, and I don't want it to have to show four screens anymore. I only want it to show three screens. So, there we go. Now it's blank, and it's showing nothing. So enter, enter. Now I just have my three screens again. One, two, three, blank, blank, back to one. So I'm gonna press my menu again, and I could shut the machine off.
turn the machine back on. Let's say I was going to start it up. Okay, it's running. Now, auxiliary. That's my standard. That's my tilt bucket. That's my brush cutter. And you'll notice now when I press it again, it's going to go off because I took the auger off. Gone. No auxiliary is going to work. So now it's just one, two, three. Off. So that's the overview on how to set your auxiliary flow control settings on the Kubota machines. And the only other thing I'll note is that while I did all of that, I never had the machine running. It can be running, but I'm in the garage here so I don't have it running. But you do have to have the lock arm needs to be down. Because if the lock arm is not down, then the auxiliary button won't even turn on. So make sure when you do those controls, you put your lock arm down. And that's it. I appreciate it.